Are you ready? Are you ready for the darkness? Oh yeah, I'm in the path of totality, Megan. You, I've oh, got the are, fancy glasses Texas. right here. I'm ready. Pop them on at any time. I'm ready Can't to go. Can't see anything. Can't, I mean, when you have them on inside, you literally cannot see anything. I, I think they're going to do some some better things outside when you're actually looking at the sun. Um, I'm just going to look at it like like Trump you, did. You, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. Did fine. you guys? <laughs> Did you make a thing out of the one we went through in 17? No. I remember it coming and and not really thinking it was that big of a deal and then realizing it apparently had never happened in my entire life. And I guess it, I mean, it is a pretty cool thing. I remember seeing the little crescent shadows that year. Yeah. Uh, you could see from, which is really, really strange. It's definitely a, a cool thing. My kids are fascinated by it. I mean, they were excited to get the glasses. They were looking at the sun today before the eclipse with the glasses on, which you know, is the only way you should really ever look at the sun. It yeah. is it is pretty amazing. But I, my big prediction for it is I think it's going to get slightly darker for about four minutes and then <laughs> it's going to pass. I am excited is it just about me? it. I, I, say, I feel like... Yeah, go ahead. I feel like Path of Totality sounds like a 1970s cult. Like the Path of Totality, not one of the suicidal ones, but sort of like right. back to that, nature and don't get your hair cut. But there might be like group sex going on, something yes. weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's your path. Yes. Um, we did, Abby and I and um, a gal who worked for me, Emily Jeffers, we all did the eclipse on the top of the NBC building, wasn't it, Abby? Do we remember? Do what did we... Were we excited by the eclipse? I can't remember. No, I the there we are. Well, I mean, look at Abby really leaning in. She's like the head fully back there taking in the eclipse. I don't remember. I are My kids, they watched it with their Nana out at the beach. I don't remember being blown away by it, but I do think it's important to like make it a thing. I love just the thought of like, this connection where the whole nation gets together and gets excited about something. And then we all talk about it, whether it's a huge sporting event or an eclipse, or, you know, in a couple of years, we're going to have the country's uh, 250th anniversary, but it's our birthday is coming up 250. That's big. We should all be doing. I like the idea of like, it's a thing. The nation comes together for it. It's yeah, good that I, so far we haven't been divided by it. I mean, nobody's called the eclipse racist yet on <laughs> social media. I mean, it might come, but so far, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm all for that. That's a it's good only point. white privilege that allows people to enjoy, you know, while other people are suffering around the world, white privilege like you. allows people to like enjoy. Like you, Mr. Yeah, Totality, you down in there in, in yeah. Texas with all your white privilege. Yeah. So you, do you, are right. you just going to go like in your backyard, Stu, to get the whole, because I do think it's cool to see the total eclipse. Yeah, I, I, I'm actually kind of into it. I mean, I, I'm going to be in the middle of a taping when that happens, and we're just, I'm no. just going to stop the taping and walk yeah. outside. Like, I, I just, yeah. I want to see it. I, I did buy the stupid glasses. I've got them on. I, I my kids are, you know, get uh, a period of school. They're all taking out and walking outside, and like the scene. I will say the scene around here is a little strange. I mean, thousands and thousands of people are coming into the path, and we're in Dallas, so it's you know, it's a lot of people who are traveling here to see it, and it everybody i haven't been out in a while but it was the clouds were gathering this morning it was clear all weekend uh -oh. and the clouds were gathering the predictions are there's <clears> going to be too cloudy to really see anything which there's a hotel around here uh, that was charging thirty six hundred dollars a night for people to come into town to watch the eclipse and then it, they're very likely going to be staring at the bottom of a bunch of clouds so that's i don't know there's something revealing about that Oh no, that's we're so only sad. I know. To get 90%. We're in Connecticut. We could have driven five hours to northern Vermont to have seen the total thing in uh, Burlington, but we didn't. We had to do the show. The kids have school, but we are gonna. I'm pulling them out of school just a little early, just like a half an hour. They're gonna miss like after school sports, basically, so that we can watch it together. And I think we're in Connecticut. We're gonna get 92 percent block out, which is, that's, I realize it's not total. There was a guy on the, the Daily this morning, the New York Times podcast, really shaming those of us who are settling for less on totality, but right. yeah, yep. we're going to do what we can. Sounds I don't know. What about you, Dave? Are you, you're in West Virginia, yeah, right? Where are you guys going to? Yeah, we're going to, we, we, we're getting like 89. I was talking to one guy at 7-Eleven today who, I mean, he was very excited. Um, I was, I was, I, I was a little surprised, which is funny because this is like the second time that I've been surprised at 7-Eleven by a guy being excited because the other night there was a guy who was like super excited about the women's basketball game. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what's going on at the 7-Eleven now? It's all about like women's basketball and like solar phenomenon. But 
<laughs> he was very excited. I would think what I might do if I remember, maybe I'll set an alarm and I think about it. If I remember, I might put my cat on the back deck to like see if she freaks out. <laughs> I think she probably won't because it's not no, really her nature. The cat. But what? No, that w- what? To protect the cat. I what's the cat's name? You told me about this on Twitter. We had this Bagheera. exchange. Bagheera. Yes, that's right. My cat is Bagheera. Protect Bagheera. What protect her from what? Well, look here. You mentioned Trump from this. Here's this video from 2017. Stand by. It's Trump. This is video one. There he is. Look, yeah. look. No, no. <laughs> There's Melania with the proper, well, at least some sort of uh, protect. There, now he's got the protective lenses on. <laughs> this is the way to look at it through the glasses, not just straight up. Do not go the first way with Bakira. All right. I'll let you know how it goes. I, yeah. I thought um, one of the interesting things on the on the eclipse was to figure out how much to terrify my children about s- staring at the sun because I was like you, you, you don't want them to look and and ruin their eyes but probably I mean you saw what Trump did probably that's not going to do much of anything. I doubt his vision is any worse from what he did there, but I did build it up to my kids that Basically, the eyes, their eyes are going to burn out of their skulls if they looked at it for just a second to try to terrify them into the correct behavior. I don't know if that's well, good parenting is, or bad parenting, but it's what I went I with. Don't, they say, first of all, if you damage your eyes, it's permanent. Like the cells that will be damaged don't come back. So I, that's serious. But is it worse than just looking at the sun on a regular day? Like, I thought the damage is, like, we, we all know you're not supposed to look at the sun. It's extremely powerful and it hurts your eyes. But like, is it especially bad the day of an eclipse? Or is it just that you're more tempted to linger because something really cool is happening up there? Yeah, I think it doesn't hurt, right? So it doesn't like, you don't shy away. And I think also your, 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 uh, you know, your eyeballs open up when it gets dark to try to g- gather in more. Uh, so I think that affects it as well. As you can tell, I'm pretty much a scientist on this. So you Dr. Bergier, we appreciate Stu, your- <laughs> do, 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 Dr. Stu, I have a question. Yes. Um, so Dr. Stu, prior to the invention of these plastic uh, glasses that allow us to witness a solar <laughs> eclipse, how did human beings for thousands of years know about solar eclipses without everybody having gone blind? Dave, yeah, they all thought the question. world was ending. That's what happened. They all oh, right. were standing there in the middle of the day. But and they didn't go blind. And get, they, well, they, because they, they were look. running for their lives. That's what yes. was happening. I, I we, we look back at these poor people thousands of years ago and they're like, oh, I can't believe they thought the world was ending. Of course they did. That's, right. a, that's what I would have thought too. That it just got Me dark too. in the middle of the day for no reason. That's what I would think. They thought it was end of days. Well, here is what you can actually uh, expect. This is courtesy again of the New York Times, the daily podcast today, which featured Mr. Eclipse, Fred Espinac, retired astrophysicist and eclipse chaser. Watch this. Maybe about a minute before the total eclipse began, we noticed strange patterns on the ground beneath us, on the grassy field that we were on these ripples racing across the field. And these are something called shadow bands. They look a lot like uh, the rippling patterns that you would see on the bottom of a swimming pool, bands of light and dark, and moving very quickly across the ground. And along one edge of the moon is this bright bead of sunlight because that's the last remaining piece of the sun before it becomes total. And this is the diamond ring effect because you've got the ring of the corona. When you see this all transpire, you can easily understand how people thought this was the end of the world because it seems far outside of the realms of nature. It seems supernatural. I think it's a sense of of belonging, belonging to this incredible universe, both belonging and a humbleness I like that. It's That's something we can all relate to, and that taps into my own reasons for watching it, too. Um, I don't know if we're going to get exactly the same sensation we partial eclipse people, uh, but it's it's a cool thing to think about. I'll, I'll tell you this, too. Astrology, from the, from the magazine Astrology. Uh, this is actually from the magazine The Cut, but it's about astrology. For literally thousands of years, eclipses have portended large-scale metamorphosis, status quo shakedowns, shifts in authority and power, and collective transformation. 
the eclipse could be a sign that Donald Trump is going to win. Shifts in authority and power and collective transformation. They say uh, astrologers believe that eclipses have the power to change the course of history, that events that coincide with eclipses are literally written in the stars. And none other than Donald Trump is taking advantage of that very possibility with his own eclipse-themed election ad, which has made Canadian Debbie laugh harder than anything we've seen on this show in recent history. Take a look. It reads the most important moment with a sign for our listening audience. In human history. Showing all the people with their eclipse glasses over the years looking up. the shadow over the moon. And the shadow is a profile of Donald Trump. <laughs> we will save America. <laughs> you tell me, Dave Marcus, I saw that and I said to my team, this is why he's going to win. It, it's a very good ad. That was also a very good segment from the daily. I'm going to, as, as, as soon as we get the break, I'm texting the guys at morning wire. Like I want background music. That was, yeah. that, 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 that was, that was an impressive uh, segment. Right? I really like, they did a nice job. Really I like all of that. I want to tell you about gen 90, the latest breakthrough in skincare from our friends over at Genucel. Those bags under your eyes from lack of sleep, being overworked, stress, and even those seasonal allergies that come with spring weather, gen 90 can help. It also helps around the eyes, the forehead, crow's feet, laugh lines, even the chin, and it starts working in seconds. Gen 90 technology is luxurious. It's silky smooth. Now you can get Genucel's classic under eye bags and puffiness serum with every Gen 90 order and also get their luxurious Genucel XV collagen builder moisturizer with vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in a pure natural base for stunning results day after day. Go to genucel.com slash, well, just genu genucel.com right now for incredible packages, over 50% off during Genucel's spring sale. Results are guaranteed or your money back, plus get an extra 10% off, automatically apply to checkout. genucel.com slash MK60, check it out. Order right now and get a free limited edition spa box and bonus gifts and free shipping. That's genucel.com slash MK60, G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.